Dinky do me hearties, and a very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. One welcome to you, of course. We're live on the TikTok just for you saying hi. And I'm so glad you could come and join us. It's just come up to 10 minutes past 10 on Thursday evening. I thought I'd say hi to you. Hi, everybody. Dinky do. And uh, hi, bye. Hi, bye. Lisa has just joined us. That is fantastic. Fantastic. So everybody should be with us very, very shortly. Christine has joined us as well. Anne has joined us. Welcome, Anne. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, hashtag fluid high, hashtag stay fabulous. Wonderful stuff. I'm so glad you could join us. How's your day been? Brilliant, Maya. A fantastic day today. Weather not just quite so good as we have had, of course. A few downpours, but such is life, I say. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, Marco, you know I'm not going to comment on anything like that. And you should know that. So there we have it. And I can tell you, uh, what did I have for dinner tonight? I had braised beef and potatoes and carrots and green beans. And then I had a lovely muffin to finish off with. You can't beat a good muffin, I say to you. Uh, there we are. Hashtag stay fabulous, Maya. Absolutely. Johnny says, thou art a legend. Thou art a legend too, Johnny. Lots and lots of lovely TikTok videos for you guys. So get watching. They're made with love, especially for you. And uh, keeping you up to date with everything that's going on. Scotty Rocco. So there we are. Are you pro or anti-union, my friend? Well, Thomas, to be quite honest with you, I'm not pro or anti-union. I just know that Scotland could do an awful lot better under its own steam with control of its own finances. But it would probably need a very good party in there. A smart wee Barry Laird McLeary. Thank you, Christina. Uh, you're a good Celtic man, oh, Scotty. Oh, hail, hail, F. Bahoy. There's uh, Rocco, of course. Hello, Scotty Dinky Do. Share the live, guys, as soon as you possibly can, and get following big style. We should really be up now in the figures rather than diddling about with a few followers here, a few followers there, you know, that sort of thing. Get following, I say. Well. There we are. We'll just put that off. I do apologise. Don't know what happened there. Oh, very, very strange. Somebody ringing the phones. Yes, indeed. And we can't take calls tonight, of course. Uh, up the Celtic, says Luke. Ah, very nice. Shalom, Scotty, my boy. Shalom, Kavrim, I say to you. Absolutely. Who are you? Who am I? I suppose I'm Scotty McClure. Who are you? There we are. Now, you might not know me because there are only 8 billion people in the world and uh, 2 billion know of Scotty McClure, which means 6 billion don't. So you're quite right to ask, but yes, I'm Scotty McClure. I am the man. Uh, of course, Maya, yes, absolutely. Scotty, I called. Oh, it was yourself, Kareem. Ah, excellent. No, I don't think the phones are doing much business uh, to be quite honest with you, let's get rid of this half-witted notification idiot. There we are, he's gone. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, so there we are, lovely, lovely, lovely. Now then, um, up the Rangers, says Lily the Best. There we are, we'll drink, we'll drink, we'll drink to Lily the Best. Uh, up Stevenage Borough. Yes, indeed. Great show, says Mark. Thank you, Mark. You remind me of the guy who owns the fancy house in Still Game. No, I wasn't in Still Game. I'd like to be, been, although apparently I was the original inspiration for it. Thank you very much, NM. Bless you. Uh, I say to you, aye, says Johnny. Aye, ready, aye. Uh, there we go. We love all that, don't we? The Glen Gary. Uh, there's Luke Scotty hasn't a clue, so we'll just say bye to Luke as well. He's gone by Luke. Take care. 
There we are. Don't be so silly. Wonderful. That's that's what we want. How are you, Scotty? Hope you're well. God save the king. Absolutely. Did you see these awful, not my king, people shouting and bawling during the national anthem? In days gone by, they'd have been jailed and they're claiming free speech, but it's actually an abuse of free speech, I say to you. What cat badge does your Glen Gary bear? The hand of justice. Can you see it there? Fantastic. Now, what do we got here? A uh, nice Glen Gary. Thank you very much. Absolutely. A dinky do from Andy in the West Quarter. Lovely, Andy. So good to have you with us in the West Quarter. We like that. It is fantastic stuff. Now then, what do we got here? Uh, just seeing what's what, guys. Oh, that's lovely. Right, that's that one done. Now, uh, Scotty, say hello to my fiance Amy. She's a big fan. Of course I can. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Guys, can everybody go tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, so we can get the likes up? That would be just wonderful. So there we are. We like that. Um, Aidan has joined us, Dinky Doo. Aidan, lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Can everybody watching go up to the top left and click the plus and follow me, please? I need to get another couple of hundred followers. Ha <laughs> ha, thanks, love it. Did you like that, Keith? Hi, what town are you from? Well, you see, it's a variety. I suppose I could say I'm from Greenock on the River Clyde originally. But then again, I've lived so long in Glasgow. But then again, I've lived so long in Aberdeen and Carlisle and Newcastle and London and Preston. And um, where else have we lived? Sheffield twice. Oh, yes. Uh, have you ever listened to the Irish Julian Pipes? Yes, I'm a big fan of the Julian Pipes. Magician, are you not just the kindest person in the world? That's so kind of you. Guys, everybody get tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap on their phones. Take your phone and tap. Tap it like crazy. They were at a thousand likes right away there. Hello from across the pond, Secret Squirrel. I'd love to have you with us. Travelling man, says Eden. Absolutely dinky do free Glasgow, says Corey Boy. Corey Boy. How about you from Northern Ireland, says Ollie. Ollie, it's so lovely to have you with us from Northern Ireland, you know. Uh, I went to church on Sunday and we were discussing mass. So there we are. Yes, indeed. There's a lot to discuss in the mass. Hey, what was your job? Oh, I've had many jobs. I mean, I still have. I mean, what do you mean, what was my job? My goodness me, to inform, educate, and entertain. There's Otto says, down with the Tories. Is it not up with the Tories? I don't know. My goodness me, surely retired. Oh, well, bro, nowhere near retirement. Another, I would say, 15 years, 20 years to go. So there we go. Now, Liam, I think, should go right away. Um, you know, that kind of nonsense we don't ever want to see on here. So that's bye-bye to Liam. Uh, a shout-out to Stanley, who's a big fan. Thank you, Adela. Very, very much appreciated. We love that. Uh, there we go. EMS, how nice to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. Guys, get following, please. I've got 2,000 likes. Now, we don't ever ask for anything. Scotty McClure's free at the point of delivery and consumption. And we get applause or derision on our merits. But up there's a tiny, tiny little gold, 200 red roses. I don't know if we can fill that. Hello, Scotty. I'm in Alicante. I'm melting with the heat. Alicante will be very, very warm. Why are you ignoring me, says Cory Boy? Well, Cory Boy, I've already mentioned you, so I don't think mentioning you is ignoring you, do you? Uh, now, who have we got here? Magician is back with a red rose. I thank you, Magician. You are very, very kind to me. A shout out to Sarah. She's a massive fan. Think you do all right, pal? Uh, sorry, says Cory. No, not at all, Cory. I just think we gave you a good mention. And I thought, uh, why are you moaning and whinging? Mark has just joined us, dinky-doo Mark. Hello, I'm back, Scotty. Oh, ching, ching. How lovely to hear from you. Kenny's asking, do we think Russia is in the right? 
We can't discuss any of that on here. They'd shut it down. Yeah, they don't like that. Uh, hello from Wolverhampton from Wolves. We love that. Bonsoir, Monsieur McClou, says Christoire. Christoire, uh, c'est très bon. Belle, belle, I say. And uh, dinky do. <laughs> uh, it's Hella from Isco Bride. Oh, no, it's Hella from Isco Bride. Of course. I forgot we all spoke that way. Uh, how have you been, Scotty, since our last chinwag? Oh, absolutely outstanding, you know. Uh, what's your favourite scotch? Well, Secret Squirrel, I tend not to, to have any alcohol now. I haven't bothered for about the last seven, eight years. But I used to have favourite whiskies. Hello from Deutschland, says Otto. Otto, ich nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nick Verstehen. Uh, greetings from Fork Mechanic in uh, Fork McKinnock, uh, Fort McKinnock in Michigan. I know to pronounce it Michigan and not Michigan. Uh, hello from Prestatin. Lovely to have you with us from Prestatin, Lucius. I say to you, where's the berry? The berry, I haven't got a berry actually. This is a Glen Gary. There you have it from Scotland. The Glen Gary from Scotland. Guys, I need a hundred followers. ASAP. We're only up for a few more minutes and then we have to dash off. There's uh, Hamilton Colin uh, saying he's from sunny Glasgow Green. Scotty, you're a national treasure. John, you're very, very kind. Can everybody get following, guys? Um, how are you from the Isle of Mull? Whereabouts? On the Isle of Mull, are you Dylan? Are you in Tubermory? Or are you in... Um, where else could you be down in Salon? I was asking if you were in Salon, you see, or Dervig. Scotty, you're looking smart as usual. Oh, we like to, um, as a mark of respect to our viewers, tidy ourselves up. Sorry, my mistake. One on the chin for me, not at all, Taylor J. Hello from Renfrew, Sandy. And lovely to hear from you from Renfrew. We like Renfrew. The old ferry there. Uh, now, who else have we got? I ask you, there's Josh. Uh, fantastic, lovely to have you with us, Josh and Dinky Do. I'm up in Tubermory. Dylan? Do you know the steps down by the McBrain's Pier? I used to play there as a kid, and a boat came in called the Loch Buoy, McBrain's Loch Buoy. The name's gone on now to something else altogether, but it was McBrain's Loch Buoy. And I would like you to have a look at the TikTok videos. Scroll down, and you'll see a picture of the Loch Buoy, and she came into the wee set of steps there. Isn't that lovely? I mean, I think these are wonderful stories. Just below the Western Isles Hotel. Fantastic. I'm just along from Browns the Ironmongers, uh, you know, which was a wonderful, wonderful shop. We all loved it. Uh, a Scottish as a square sausage. Umbongo, absolutely. Hail, hail, and we are the people, Scotty. Absolutely all right, pal. Murren, a great Scottish name. Scotty, it's Campbell here again. What would you say your political views are? Well, I don't really have any political views. I'm what you would call apolitical. I'm more interested in economic views. You know, and I, that's why I say Scotland should keep its own money. A shout out from the Newcastle boys. Well, all right, you Geordies. Uh, we love it and dinky do. I respect that, Scotty. Absolutely, Spike. There's too many people bumping their gums, you know. So there we are. Thank you, Petunia, for liking the live. We appreciate that. And Newcastle Brown Ale is the way to go. Well, it used to be the way to go for me. The proper stuff, you know. I like to brown ale. But uh, as I say, I don't bother now with the with the drink. Um, or the glug glug, as we called it in Newcastle. Do you remember a lovely man called Mike the Mouth? He's sadly no longer with us. And Mike did the late night phone-ins on Century Radio. Mike the Mouth. And Mike used to appreciate a glug glug and a Newcastle brune. 
Uh, I love that. I know what steps you're talking about. Love it up in Mull. Moved up from Ayr or Dillon. You'll have a wonderful time there. What's the story in Balamori? And you've got all the braes. You've got middle bray and back bray. And at the end is prison bray because it used to go up to the old police station, you know, where the courtroom was. I don't know what it's doing now. So there we are. Now, eyebrows, that's just such a very, very, very silly thing to do. So I think what we'll do with eyebrows is, shall we give them a lifetime ban, guys? No, we'll mute them for the programme for being silly. So we haven't actually banned your eyebrows for being silly, but we have muted you. Uh, there you are for being silly. Uh, where are you from, pal? I'm from Scotland, pal. Scotty, you're a great man, says all right, pal. So are you all right, pal? I'm telling you. Hello from Yorkshire, says Millie. Ah, well, ah, you see, that's it, ah, Yorkshire. You can't beat Yorkshire. I'm actually an honorary Yorkshireman, Millie. Probably the only one in the world, because as you know, you can't really be Yorkshire unless you've lived there at least 150 years like I. And even then, your income are like, you know. Opinions on our Lord Jesus? All right, pal, we love our Lord Jesus. Uh, thoughts on the Southport one-way system? Ah, Ross, you've been listening to Scotty McClue Talks to Rob on the YouTube channel. Guys, if you all had a look at the YouTube channel, you'll get the link up in my bio there. So look at the biography of Scotty at the top of the TikTok account and you'll get the link to the YouTube channel. Go on and subscribe and have a look at the videos. Uh, right, what have we got here? What comes do Scotty? Um, eh, well, eh, il common, il common Shotland. Shotland, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a descendant of the Gallo Glass. We came out of the Hebrides. Yes, indeed, Jimmy. Uh, hello, Scotty. How are you doing? You're a top man. So are you, Thomas. Thomas, you've always been a top man. Hello from Hull, Rhys. I used to broadcast on Viking Radio. Do you know it? There we are. It was the magic side I did. Big Rob from Southport. Cracking video. Oh, Ross. Yeah, guys, if you're wanting a laugh, onto the YouTube channel and put in Scotty McClue Talks to Rob from Southport. I think you'll love it. Ah, oh, Shotland. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Fabulous, thank you so much. Viking FM, what a throwback. Oh, wonderful radio station. Just uh, off the harbour there. Song per Scotty, Andy. We salute you, sir. Song per the Thin Red Line, absolutely. Colin Mitchell, yes, can you go back to Colin Mitchell? There we are. Mr. Fabulous, thank you, Corey. Love your hat. Uh, now, guys, I've got one red rose. Can you see the little goal there? I've got one red rose, you know, and uh, if we can make it two, that would be fabulous, I said to you. We're a bit late tonight. Uh, we're maybe too late, actually. Oh, no. Um, we've got a lot of people joining us here. Iwan and Stephen are seeing to the red roses. Uh, we've got 11 red roses now. So thank you, guys. So much appreciated. Opinions in Jedburgh. All right, pal. We love Jedburgh. The Abbey could do with a bit of work on the roof. Uh, good to see you, big guy. You're looking champion. Fantastic. Corey, thank you so much. For my red roses. We're right in there with these now, I can tell you. Corey and Iwan are uh, dealing with red roses at the moment and they uh, are being very, very, very generous. Generous, generous, you beautiful people. Uh, good to see you, big guy. You're looking champion. Scotty, my boy. Think you do, Mr. Man? Uh, hi, Scotty. It's David and John, but John's no here tonight. His problems... Uh, as you know, yes, David, absolutely, but we sent him strength. I, Wan, what are you doing, you kind, kind person? Guys, we've got 85 red roses out of 200. Is that not beautiful? We've got 2,500 likes. 
Because everybody has been taking the phone and going tap, 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 tap. It's just wonderful. Uh, get on to uh, the YouTube channel if you can, guys. Uh, the Brits never walked the roads in South Armagh, old oh, river band. We've all walked the roads in South Armagh. Absolutely. Everybody from Britain who's gone to Ireland will have walked the roads in South Armagh. Good night, Scotty. God bless. It's, uh, it's Slan. Slan or Shian? Slan from Ireland. Slan to yourself, Jimmy. Slange. Slange, I say, Slange. Yes, Kamraha U Um Yes, I, I met Mad Mitch's wife. Now, was that Susan? Was it Susan? Have I got that right? Uh, there we have it. Uh, just got the one number one gifter badge. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Uh, there we go. Kelso Civic Week this week. We should have had you down. You should, Stephen. I got a lovely, lovely invitation to speak at one of the common ridings, and I couldn't make it because, to me, that is a great honour. Do you know what I mean? And uh, Kelso, of course, will be looking just beautiful. The floor's castle. Oh, yes. Uh, now, the Battle of Queenston Heights, says Otto. Ah, there we are. Guys, we're at 85 red roses. Can you see the little goal up there? Corey is back giving me more. We're 50% there. We're 100 red roses. What can I say? Thank you, do, Scotty. What about you, says Simon. Simon from Belfast. Is it Belfast you're in, Simon? Uh, is Super Duper Famous Sam? Well, no, I'm uh, only known to two billion people. I wish they'd send me a quid. Could you imagine that if two billion people sent me a quid? One pound. <laughs> Just to say, thanks for 31 years of laughter, Scotty. Anyway, we're going back on the radio soon. So you'll all get your uh, your reward uh, because you've supported me all these years. So uh, we'll be coming back with a phone in at some point. I can tell you, Corey, what are you doing? Corey is going to hit target. He has hit target. Corey, stop. Corey's hit target, guys. He's gone over the hundred. Corey, you're over the hundred. Oh, my goodness me. Don't you bankrupt yourself. I'm starting to perspire. Guys, this is, can you see Corey's red roses? 125 on top of all the other ones he's given. We're way over target. Thank you so much. Do you ever wonder why you never got really famous? Do you mean, Sam, known to 8 billion people in the world? Well, there's still a lot of time, um, you know, and uh, I think I, I would know why, um, you know, it was because the show was so successful. It was actually in danger of putting other radio stations off the map. That's how successful. And remember, if anything's really successful in this country, it attracts attention and they usually try to kill it off. You know, you look at all the great shows over the years, all clobbered. Uh, so there you are. But there's no point in wondering why, Sam, because I know it was nothing to do with me. Do you see what I mean? So I'm known to two billion people, Sam. So there's six billion still to go who have yet to find out about Scotty McClue and the big radio phone-ins. As I say, we're going back on the uh, the phone ends. Uh, so there we are. Not really those, uh, Sam. Well, what do you call famous? If you were known to two billion, would you say that's famous or is it just well known? Maybe it's just well known, you see. Mm, interesting. I'll have a think about that. Thank you for pronouncing my name correctly, says Iwan. Have I said it right, Ivan? 
There we are. Scotty, can you tell me about the Battle of Queenston Heights? I can't, Otto. It doesn't ring a bell with me. Um, there's Kieran. Now, Kieran's totally lost his way. He's living in, he's been reading his history books, and he's living in the past. He's talking about up the Irish Republican Army, you know, who, I mean, in their day, you're talking 100 years ago. Um, you know, when they, when they were around. But uh, no, now, I mean, Kieran, you're just kidding yourself. I know there's a handful of thugs in some of the schemes think they're written a bit, but nah. Forget that, Kieran. You go uh, up the British Army. That's the ones for you in Ireland. Can you say hello to TJ from Greenock? We can, Kyle. We can always say hello to a fellow Greenockian. Did you hear me say I would have James Watt? Uh, there were thoughts on the Glasgow Celtic. A very fine team, hail, hail. If you look at my TikTok videos, you'll see I've been down to Park Heed, to Celtic Park. Scotty, do the Scots really want independence? They do, Otto. But we've got a problem. The last time we had a referendum, which was in 2014, it was almost 50-50. It was... 55-45. <clears throat> now, the Nationalists really formed their party around 1932, I think, if I've got it right. The SNP was formed, and it's been in one or two kind of guises. And they used to be known as extremists. But they've become the main party in the last, I would say, really the last 15 years they've come to prominence. And they've been very, very successful. And they were all for independence. Uh, now, the problem is that 50% 50 plus of Scots are loyal to the crown. We want a monarchy. We want a king. The out-and-out and out nationalists tend to be a wee bit on the left side, a wee bit socialist a wee bit not very well educated, and they are not wanting the king. Now, until they get behind the king, independence is a is a, a no-brainer. You know, it's just not going to happen. <clears throat> it's a no-goer. Because the king is not going to sign some new law granting independence to a country where he's not the man. So, you know, um, it's really... It, but it, the ignorance that abounds is incredible. I mean, I've been argy barging all day with halfwits who um, were thinking it's okay to shout not my king outside St. Jazz Cathedral when his majesty is there to receive the honours of Scotland. And you've got these kind of roughnecks, halfwits, shouting and bawling. I mean, what an embarrassment to Scotland. So, yes... The Scots, independence would be good for the Scots, but they need to step up to the plate, get 100% behind the monarchy. Then the unionists can't beat them with, what are you going to do with the king? And uh, you've got these, we want a republic. Well, you're not going to get a republic. I mean, that's just going to be, so they're going to put themselves in the political wilderness where the Labour Party have been for the last um a lot of the Labour Party have been in the wilderness. I suppose about nine, ten years, they kicked themselves right into the wilderness. You know, now had they been sharp and smart and backed independence in 2014, Labour would be in power today. It's a thought, isn't it? <laughs> but there you go. Uh, but So in answer to your question... Independence would be very good for Scotland. Ireland want independence, says Kieran. Well, Kieran, do they? You see, when there's people like yourself, um, you know, still dreaming of terrorism and all that kind of stuff, you know, I don't think so. Um, but I do believe Ireland will become independent. But remember, you're going to have to step up to the plate and start paying. Because when you're attached to Britain, you get the good life, you see? You get the good life uh, from that point of view. So you're going to have to start paying because I don't think uh, Dublin will want to pick up the tab. Uh, so I would be careful 
Won't you wish for, Kieran? I understand where you're coming from, but you need to forget all that nonsense in your head, you know? Uh, so there we are. Dinky Doris, yes, indeed. What radio station? Well, Iwan, I can't divulge that right at the moment. I wouldn't be allowed to. That would be overstepping the mark. But you'll just have to wait for the announcement. What do you think of the Nigel Farage Coots story? Well, Stephen, I did have a look at that, and I was thinking there are um, there seems to be Coots seem to have four forty the Strand, the aristocrats who bank at Coots, as the old um, Gilbert and Sullivan song says. You know, the aristocrat who banks at Coots. Um, so uh, 440 The Strand, and um, it's very much a kind of private banking. I mean, it, it was the Queen's Bank, the late Queen's Bank, and I would imagine it still is the royal family's bank, uh, Coots and Company, a very, very old company. And I would think, I mean, there was a lady called Money Coots, and she was richer than Queen Victoria. She was a friend of Queen Victoria's. And um, she was richer than uh, than uh, Queen Victoria. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a strange one, but I think you need to have a certain amount of money to bank at Coots. So there might be a bit more to the story. So there we are. Kyle Dinky do absolutely. What's your story? Give us a brief rundown of your working life. Oh, Scott. Mainly broadcasting, education, banking, uh, and, uh, you know, working on the boats was my Saturday job as a wee one. You know, and I loved that. Not a problem, sir. No problem, Corey. Uh, thank you very much, the man, the myth, the legend. Scotty the Oracle, I thank you. You are so very, very kind. Have you ever been to North Berwick? You see, I lived in East Lothian between the Saltoons, and I regularly went to North Berwick. I regularly climbed Berwick Law. I regularly visited Gosforth. I regularly... Um, called in uh, all the lovely places like Aberlady and um, Durlton. <laughs> Used to have lunch in Durlton. Fantastic, loved it. All that kind of stuff. Musselburgh. I would shop in Musselburgh and North Berwick and Haddington or Haddington, Haddington. Uh, and just stuff with lovely people I would... I would uh, go to Turnent, Trinent, Trinent, and um, yeah, just a wonderful, wonderful part of the world. You know, so to say, have I ever been to North Berwick? That's like asking if His Holiness the Pope has ever been in St. Peter's. You know what I'm saying? If uh, King Charles has ever been in Buckingham Palace. Uh, now, Scotty, what do you think about the women drivers? You know what I think. They're built differently. Up the Scots, absolutely. That's not almost 50-50. Ross, what are you talking about? What was the result in 2014? 45-55. So you're only five each side away from 50-50. 50% 50 plus are loyal to the crown. And until the other 50% of nationalists become loyal to the crown, independence is toast. And it's not even, I mean, the crown is apolitical. So it shouldn't be too difficult to say, God save the king, and sing the national anthem. Uh, I couldn't comment on that at all, Stephen. That's a live case. We don't comment. What's your Glen Gary for? It's for keeping your head warm. Do you know what the tapes are for? Who knows what these tapes on the Glen Gary are for? The ribbons. Right, tell me about that. 
Scotty, have you ever knocked someone's spark out? I've never, ever needed to. I mean, nobody... Look, let me try and show you a bicep just to give you a wee concept of me. Right, can you see that arm? There's my hand. Can you see how tiny my hand is? I can't get it round, even a wee bit of that bicep. Now, let me bring my hand out. Nobody would want to be on the receiving end of that. So there's never been a need to knock anybody spark out. Uh, there we are. Is this the best looking king we've had for this for centuries? Well, no, I mean, George the Sixth was a very dapper wee chap, the late Queen Elizabeth's father. And he, I would have said he was quite a good looking man. His father, George the Fifth, was a good looking man. Edward the Seventh in his day was a good looking man. Prince Albert was a good-looking man. Uh, you know, so we've had some very handsome kings and princes. And um, I think I've said the little poem to you, haven't I? Uh, isn't it strange that princes and kings and those who fly on outstretched wings and ordinary folk like you and me are makers of eternity. For each is given a book of rules, an hourglass and a bag of tools. Each to fashion ere time has flown, a stumbling block or a stepping stone. Do you like that one? There's one for you guys. So, uh, you know, we've had some great kings. Ramon says, well, said so. Absolutely. Yorkshire want independence. So does Cornwall. So does Orkney. So I think Westminster should start to become more introverted and let Scotland, Yorkshire, Lancashire, Orkney, Northern Ireland, all go. You know, maybe Wales would like to be away from Westminster as well. Who's told me about the tapes? Has anybody been on? Come on. Who's marching in Glasgow on Sunday? Ooh, I don't know. The Salvation Army? You know, I, I don't know. The Boy Scouts? The BB? Yorkshire is an independent state. Yes, but Martin, it's still part of Westminster. Yorkshire would be a wonderful independent state. Were you the guy in Still Game who hosted the party in the Massive House? No, somebody's already asked that. <laughs> but apparently, I was the original inspiration for Still Game. So there you are. Are you on about Irish independence? We mentioned it, Fian. Yes, indeed. How do you feel about... Do, 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 do. Corey Boy, we don't discuss that because they just cut it out right away. Yeah, there, you know, there's an official line about these wars and then there's the actual truth. But we can't, uh, we can't always tell you the truth. Scotty, have you ever been to Inverclyde? Well, I'm from Inverclyde. So many, many times I shall say. Hi from Cumbernauld, says Angie. What's it called? Uh, Corey, when he catches up in the chat after 80 minutes, he'll be very annoyed. Do you think so? I'm not too annoyed. Uh, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm annoyed at all. To many good loyalists in Northern Ireland and Northern Ireland is in the United Kingdom. There's too many good loyalists. Sorry. Sorry, Gary. I'll say this again. This is from Gary in Northern Ireland. There's too many good loyalists in Northern Ireland and Northern Ireland is in the United Kingdom. Aha! Right. So there we are. But does Northern Ireland want to... Um, stay as part of Britain, or would you like to do a Scotland and become independent under the crown? I mean, that might be a winner for you. So the crown is still in Northern Ireland, but it gets sort of ceded 
to Northern Ireland. So, but the Northern Irish government will need to step up to the plate. They've not been behaving terribly well since they got more or less independence. It's toast now. So there we are, says Douglas. No, Douglas, I wouldn't say independence is toast, but they'll need to box clever. It's no for keeping your head warm. It is, Danny. Keeps your head warm. I'm getting a wee bit thin on top, you see. <laughs> I popped up today to say, give you an answer to people that are always saying, Scotty, can you not become our first minister? You know, so then what do you think about British independence? Now, Barney, you'll need to explain yourself a bit more. Aha, I say to you, hi from Cumberland. Hello from Vienna, from Wien. Logan, fantastic. Are you having a beer first? An Eine Stein of beer. <laughs> Are you a golf fan? Are you watching them? No, I don't really know anything about golf. I've carried twice, I think. And I don't play. Uh, where in Wales are you from? I'm in the Scottish part of Wales, which is called Scotland. <laughs> so there you go. But yaki da and nos I say to you. Scotty, how do you do, my friend? Dinky do, Cleek. I'd love to have you with us. I'm going up to Glasgow tomorrow for the weekend. I'm going to see Rangers v Hamburg. Ah, you'll enjoy that, I tell you. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Now then, can we have another 20 followers? You're very, very slow at following, guys, and, and you've got no excuse. Why would you have a TikTok account and not follow a Scotty McClue? Why would you not go to the TikTok bio? Click the link. I can, you can tap it with your finger and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Why don't two of you do that? I know two people... To subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi from Rothsey in the Isle of Butte, says uh, Sean. Dinky do Sean. The likelihood of Scotland getting free, do you think it will benefit? Uh, the likelihood, a wee bit slow, the likelihood of getting free, but you need to sort out the not my king brigade. They should be deported. I would have rounded them up and deported them just for cheeking up, you know. Uh, now, what have we got here? Hi from Vienna. We love Vienna. Sing the Muffin Man. Oh, no, we'd get done with a copyright. So there we are. Uh, now, who have we got? Do you believe independence is the right thing for Scotland? I do. I used to be a staunch unionist, but I'm afraid the present government over the last 13 years have made such a pig's ear of this country. And we've been so manipulated with the Leave campaign, leaving Europe, um, just everything that we've been manipulated by. And the people have lost so much, you know. Hello, Scotty Dinky, I was in the army. I served my country and queen at the time, joined up in 1977. Jimmy, we salute you, sir. And we thank you for your service. Uh, so there we are. Dinky do, Mr. Man. <laughs> uh, Scotty, can you say Yoka? I've been to Yoka. Thoughts on Aberfoyle? I love Aberfoyle. I once went to a sheepdog demonstration in Aberfoyle. And this guy that was working the dog, he sent him out to the far corner of the field. And he was talking quietly to all of us at the other end of the field. So the dog was difficult to say maybe a couple of hundred yards away. Would that be right? The farmers and shepherds will tell me if I've got this right. And as the guy was talking and explaining about uh, sheepdogs, he said, uh, in the van, Ben, that's all he said, just as quietly as that, in the van, Ben. And the dog belted from the other end of the field and jumped into the van. So the dog was listening to his every word and heard the instruction. And another dear friend of mine is a great Labrador man. 
Big black Labradors like Lord Wreath that I had, and then the wee ones like Lord Clyde. And uh, he was sitting in his office, and the dog, lovely big black lab, was crunching a bone in the corner. And he was talking to me, the guy. And then he went, right, leave that. And the dog left what was left of the bone. And he went and got a brush and a, a dustpan and swept up the fragments of bone. But all he said was, right, leave that. Is that not wonderful, guys? A dog's not just amazing. Can I have another 10 or 15 followers, please? So we love Aberfoyle. I was in it really quite recently on the river there, very bonny, Stirlingshire, very, very bonny, Aberfoyle and the old Buchanan Castle out there where Rudolf Hess was held uh, during the Second World War. Isn't that not amazing? Buchanan Castle used to be the seat of the Dukes of Montrose, probably still is, uh, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's derelict. Um, so there we are. Uh, ah, Mr. Man, what are you like? Scotty, I hope you're well. Mr. Man, you've obviously got a story to tell. You've, your memory is better than mine. 5,500 likes, guys. This is absolutely outstanding. Can I have 11 more followers? And can a couple of you pop over to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button? Have a look at some of the videos there. Scotty, I hope you're well. Margie from Motherwell uh, can call out for Mary Doll. Absolutely. Uh, now, what have we got here? Scotty, stop ignoring me. I never ignore you. Uh, exactly. Uh, fantastic. Scotty, you're so cute. You're very kind. Uh, I'm okay, and the SNP are angels, says Richard. Well, Richard, there you go. Yes, yes, there's no, there's no flies on you. You would not sell your hen on a wet day, I say to you. Uh, do you think 13 years of bad governance can define our whole future? Well, I wouldn't know, James, because we haven't had 13 years of bad governance in Scotland. But we have had in uh, the UK, you see? So, uh, and I think everybody knows that, but still they vote them in, they, they love the punishment, don't they? I was the Scots Guards, 2nd Battalion. Jimmy, we salute the guards, sir. Yes, are you a big, tall man? <coughs> Where's all the millionaire taxi drivers? or oh, the poor souls, Jenny. They were millionaires, but I think COVID did for the taxi drivers. And I do feel for them. Guys, thank you for my wonderful goal. 200 red roses. You people are beautiful. 7,000 likes. You know, come on. What are we at? Uh, Scotty, do you drink? I drink, uh, I drink the water. I have some Scottish water here. I'll have a sup. Guys, why don't we all have a general sup? You know? But no, I don't. Uh, I don't drink the alcohol anymore, uh, and I don't particularly miss it. You know, I would say to everybody, uh, you know, give it a go. Um, give it a go. Chuck the booze. See how you go. Uh, what's the cat badge of the Glengarry? That's the hand of justice. That's my own badge. Uh, so there we are. The Scottish farmer and conservationist, brilliant. Good man, Josh. The Royal Navy. Um, now, what have we got there? Served with a few jocks in Northern Ireland in the 90s. Great friends. Absolutely, Joe. Yes, indeed. The Northern Irish people were very pleased to see them. You know, I think they felt it was a bit silly. Um, Northern Irelanders argy barging with Scotsmen. Uh, the only thing that's dragging Scotland down is Westminster and the Not My King Brigade. They're an embarrassment. I'm um, on the Brisbane Street. Oh, you and you know your stuff. The SNP have done nothing for Scotland, but their MPs have made a lot of money for themselves. Now, Bronco, tell me what 
you feel Westminster's done for Scotland, taking us out of Europe, squandering 250 billion quid, then another 150 billion quid on PPE during the, uh, the pandemic. Shoving the power up so we can barely afford to put the lights on. Tell me what they've done. And then you can come and moan and groan about the Scottish government. Uh, so there we are. Now then, you should do audio books. I'd listen to them. If you got any videos on YouTube from your days on the night shift on STV, I don't know, Kevin, there might be. But I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd have to have a look. We've got 3,000 YouTube videos and we've got something like 4,000 subscribers. So that's like just uh, under a video per subscriber. But do check out the YouTube channel. You'll get the link just up there in the bio. It's there for you. Guys, it's nearly 11 o'clock, for goodness sake. What do you think of the new Prime Minister? Do you mean the new First Minister for Scotland? Uh, are you picking up your pension now? So, oh, not yet, Jerry. I don't retire for another 15 years, probably. Too young for all that. Where in Scotland are you from? I'm from the West Coast. From the West Coast of Scotland, I say to you. Thank you, Vicky, for sending me the Kipibara. There we are. You've spoiled me with all your gifts. You're beautiful, beautiful people, guys. You really are. Uh, fantastic. I need another eight of you to go up to the top left and click the plus and follow me. Can you speak Irish? Now, Dara, are you talking the soft Irish of the South? Are you talking a little bit harsher from the North? Or are you talking Irish Gaelic? I guess YouTube. Scotchuk McClurk. So there we have it. Is that an Edinburgh accent you have? I don't know, Kyla. I only lived in Edinburgh for maybe two or three years. So, and then I've lived in Yorkshire for four years, in Aberdeen for well over a year. In Carlisle for many years, or Carlisle, um, in Preston for uh, two years, uh, in East Lothian, in London. War, London, war, war by that then. What are the ribbons for then? Come on, guys, do we not know what the ribbons are for? Tell me. Uh, so there you have it. Why are they not our King Brigade not okay? I think people should have a choice to choose the monarchy. Well, we chose the monarchy, Lucci. We chose the monarchy in 1320. The aristocracy wrote to His Holiness the Pope and said, can we choose our own king? And we chose the heirs and successors in perpetuity. So we elected the present king. Very, very interesting. And we've chosen our king. And what would you want without it? Would you prefer Stalinism, dictatorships? Do you see how dangerous all that is? You know where you are with the monarchy, and they're virtually self-financing. There's actually nobody can have a single valid criticism of the monarchy because it's there as the curator and custodian of the crown. The crown is a symbol of authority in the same way the stars and stripes is a symbol of authority to America. America would love to have a monarchy. So you need to work out in your own tiny mind what your problem is with the monarchy. Because it costs you less than a packet of crisps. It takes nothing and gives everything to us. So they're not my king brigade are biting the hand that feeds them. And they're stopping Scotland from being independent. So they need to look at that, you see, and say, no, 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 it's sorted. Scotty, are you a millionaire? Um, certainly got well over a million pennies. 
I don't know. What what is that a millionaire nowadays is somebody that's got a million pounds? All right, you could pass as the very model of a modern major general. I am the very model of a modern major general. Uh, me and my friends are flying to uh, split, split in Croatia tomorrow. Could we get a dinky do? So, of course you can have a dinky do from Scotty McClue. We absolutely love it. I'm going to have to go soon, guys. Can I get another two? Between two and seven followers. Did you watch the Ashes? Yes, TUFC. Do you know what the Ashes actually are? Yes, do tell us. Who can tell us what the Ashes are? Uh, Scotty, you must be blind if you think the SNP have done a good job. No, Bronco, what I'm saying is, do you feel that Westminster has done a good job? Do you see what I mean? Who do you think would have done a better job? Labour? Why don't we have in the Scottish Parliament only parties who want independence? So like the Independent Conservative Party, the Independent Labour Party, the SNP, maybe some more parties, the Scotty McClure Party. West is best, Scotty. If there's one person you'd like to meet, who would it be and what would you say? Well, what I'll tell you, Trampsy, uh, get on and look at my TikTok videos. And I've, I've got guess who's coming to dinner. Or who's coming to dinner? Harry's sending me TikToks and red roses. What's the time? Oh, my goodness me. We'll need to go soon. Five more followers, please, as soon as you can. Straight up to the top left. Click, click, clickety, click. Uh, hi, mate. Can you clap for my mate, Charlie? Two years since he passed. We love Charlie. Bless him, I say. His spirit will live forever. Uh, there we go. Now then. The Black Watch says, Sin, we as Scotland do not choose a king. Uh, to make a Scottish king, I've got about a million criticism. Well, Luce, none of your criticisms are valid because King Charles is doing his job. He's taking nothing from you and giving you everything. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Guys, I've got to dash. I love you all to bits. Take great care of your dear selves. Hashtag stay fabulous. Stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. Ta-ta. Ta-ta-la.